Rosie Dotes and little Lemsy Divey, a tiddly Divey too, wouldn't you? Mersey Dotes and little Lemsy Divey, a tiddly Divey too, wouldn't you? Mersey Dotes and Dozy Dotes and little Lemsy Divey, tiddly Divey too, wouldn't you? Now if the words sound queer and funny to your ear, a little bit jumbled and chivy, sing mares eat oats and does eat oats and little lambs eat ivy. Sing mares eat oats and does eat oats and little lambs eat ivy. A kittle eat ivy too, wouldn't you? A kittle eat ivy too, wouldn't you? Well, you know, that song had its day, you know. Before television, you know, radio was it. You know, we'd have a lot of nice songs on radio all the time. And, uh, well, I think that was around in the 40s. It's when uh, television uh, first came out, you know, I think it was in the 40s. And uh, you'd see people standing in front of uh, stores that started selling television sets. The first ones, black and white, round, you know, they weren't rectangular like they are now. It's so pretty, you know. Black and white, kind of noisy. You'd have to have a, a, an antenna up on your roof. And uh, people would be standing four, five, six, seven in front of a store, uh, looking through the window and looking at uh, two or three of uh, these television sets. You know, uh, well, the first things that were on television on this uh, original black and white, uh, pretty noisy picture, uh, it was mostly uh, baseball games and boxing. And, uh, oh, what else was that? And that was about it. Old movies and uh, baseball games and boxing. Yeah, well, it, it was new, so, you know, it was pretty good. You know, you, this was the first time we'd expect. I think, I think somebody that at NBC uh, came up with it. Let's try to make television work. Well, they made it work. You can imagine what it must have been like to begin with, to look at, look at this radio that has a picture on the front of it with people moving and talking and stuff like that. It was fantastic, you know. But, you know, back before TV started, radio was king, right? A lot of good music coming out. We'd have the big bands. Oh, geez, they were great. I love those big bands. So I was a teenager then, you know, a couple of years ago. <laughs> well, yeah, there was like Artie Shaw and his orchestra, Tommy Dorsey and his orchestra, oh, Stan Kenton, and uh, the real big guy back then with the band was uh, Glenn Miller. And uh, all of these guys in our big band, sometimes they'd, once in a while they'd come to Minneapolis, the Orpheum Theater, and I'd go down there, I want to see that. I said, geez, these big, big bands in person. Oh, hi, this was fantastic. I really loved it. You know, and on, on uh, Saturday, I think it was Saturday afternoon, they would come on with, uh, you know, the best, best tunes of the, of the present at that time. And that was great. I mean, everybody looked forward to that. It was on for like an hour or two, and it had all the greatest, uh, latest uh, music songs on there, the old 78 RPM records. And they were pretty good quality, you know. You stop to think to consider the time, you know, it was fun. I mean, you'd look forward to that, you know. Saturday afternoon, uh, these uh, big hit tunes, you know, great. Now, I think it was the days when uh, we'd see Doris Day and uh, other people that were really big names then. And, uh, 
Yeah, seeing seeing television getting started, you know, was after World War II, and uh, so that was a it was a big deal. And then later on, of course, the TV sets got a little better, a little clearer. To begin with, they'd have ghosts on there. You'd see the picture, the main picture, and then you'd see maybe two or three little ghosts off to the side. And the signal would be, you had to get it from the antenna on a roof, so it would, the signal would, would, would be bouncing off of buildings and then it would get into your antenna and come down, so you'd get two or three images together. So it was pretty poor quality, but you know, you thought this, this, this is it. We, we got television for the first time. Can you imagine what that must have been like? Now, when you see television today with the fantastic color, and we've got cable, and we've got, uh, you know, uh, satellite dish, is really high quality stuff. Now, high definition. Where they double their, I don't know how many times. The original uh, television, I think, was 525 horizontal sweeps and 60 vertical sweeps of the signal. Well, now with high definition, it's a lot more lines than that, so it's a lot clearer picture. And uh, I always thought it was a real mystery how they actually took the picture. You know, the picture, ca the camera, the television camera, used what they call the image orthicon tube. And I can remember trying to understand that thing. I, I never did really understand it, even though I got an engineering education background, electrical. But uh, I, it still seems miraculous to me today. Uh, television, color television, high definition, Unbelievable. I I just think it's it's, it's really wonderful. But uh, try out the old uh, uh, Mersey Dotes and Dozy Dotes. That's kind of a kind of a funny little tune. It had its day, you know. Yep, so that would be great. Well I wanted to, you know, give you that Mersey Dotes. I didn't want to, you know, forget to give you that one, for heaven's sakes. I've been putting some kind of serious videos up there. I thought I'd put up something a little lighthearted today, you know, and see see if I could do something like that. I'm not just in the serious stuff all the time. So I tend to be sometime maybe a little too serious. I don't know. Uh, oh, a couple, few months ago, I, I told my granddaughter, I think I'm going to make some videos. And she says, why? You know, like, I, I need to explain myself. What am I making videos for? Who I think I am? Well, I told him, sort of fun of it. So why not, you know? Well, I thought you got a little charge out of that tune. Thanks a lot for listening and try to sing it. <laughs> you can go back and look at the beginning of this video and, you know, memorize it. It's that's oh, a fun little thing. Like I said, it had its day. Like all the head tunes did. So anyway, thanks a lot for listening in. And um, I hope you stop back again sometime. And, and uh, I hope it wasn't too bad. So bye for now.